like why is that a greeting warm to good morning and good afternoon warm to eye yeah, all right Hey guys, Colleen Alicia here back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, then welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So today, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me type of video. I've been wanting to come on here and talk to you guys and let you guys know what's been going on. But no say someone will miss me. I miss you guys too. But, you know, circumstances and situations and all of that, I wasn't able to post any videos. And I'll get into that further down into the video. So basically, I'm going to be getting ready to go on a trip with my friends. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my makeup on camera. Show you guys what I do, the products that I use. I'm not a makeup guru, so don't expect perfection. I just know how to put, I just, I just put myself together. Oh, me know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get into okay, it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did my brows off camera. If I were supposed to do them on camera, the video would have probably be one three hour. <laughs> right? So I'm gonna tell you guys what I use to do my brows. So I use the Uncle Pencil Brown. I think it's number nine. I use the Uncle Pencil and i use the um la girl pro conceal in the shade cool tan and i also use the l'oreal true match in cappuccino n8 so i use the concealer at the bottom and i use the the foundation at the top okay so my makeup routine is very 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 beginner friendly because i myself am a beginner so if it is that you're trying to get into makeup or whatever you can go ahead and try out some of the steps that i do if you see me looking over here this is where my mirror is so i'll be mostly looking in the mirror but i'll be talking to you guys right um yeah so let's get into it the first thing i want to talk about wait before i do that let me go ahead and prime my face and i use the baby maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser for my primer i don't use a lot okay so now that i've primed my face let's go into the topics that i have i'm going to foundation so the foundations that i'll be using is the l'oreal true match in cappuccino n8 and i'll also be using my regular um maybelline super so i'll be mixing the two no particular reason but just like the two foundation them so yeah all right so the first thing i'll be getting into is the reason why i haven't been posting as you could see in the beginning of the video before i started to put on the foundation i have a whole lot of dark spots on my face right and it may sound a little trivial or whatever but that really is why i haven't been posting and i'm gonna explain why I have since I've known myself I've always had clear skin you know sometimes before like around about the time when you would get a period maybe you would get a little breakout or maybe I would get a little breakout or so but it has never been a case where I had full-blown acne when the pandemic started I realized that I started to get some bumps like some and when the bumps left that they would leave some dark marks and you know and i started to get really insecure about it i know i started my channel during the pandemic but at the time it wasn't as bad as it had gotten or as it is now um i like to spray my sponge with um rose water is in this bottle i like to spray my sponge my brush with rose water and before i tap in the foundation Yes, I noticed that I started to get some breakouts and whatever, and it's not anything that I was used to before. So, um, initially, I was, you know, working on it. I started to buy stuff for it. I started a whole, you know, skincare routine and all of that. Um, I ordered some stuff on Amazon 
for it initially and I started to use those and it seemed to be working for a second and then it stopped so I I decided that I was gonna try something else I tried everything basically everything in the book for acne there is nothing that I didn't try I try black soap I try I try everything I try bleaching cream I try everything in the book I look on Instagram you know every if you're in Jamaica you must know the popular bleaching cream um personnel or company from Instagram or whatever I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy that but eight thousand dollar worth of something I'm gonna buy and that no work go on did some more research again on YouTube found something that most persons were using I started to use that and that was my last straw when I bought that thing because it was expensive it was really expensive and when I used it I woke up the next day and my eyes were swollen <laughs> my eyes them big my face swell up and my, my nose swell up the thing so alert my completely allergic <laughs> I can't laugh now oh, completely allergic to the thing and I'm like what is this a whole allergic reaction you know to the um to the product so that was when I decided that hey sometimes things happen and it might seem trivial to other persons but to me it was a big deal because as I said my skin always clean so why now all of a sudden my face decides say it a go break out and break out so horribly I just couldn't sit through it all right so after I put on the foundation I like to use the beauty blender and just you know push it into the skin so it gives me a more smoother finish it's not the actual beauty blender it's just a beauty sponge but it does what it's supposed to do all right so next I'm gonna go in with the LA girl pro conceal the shade cool tan I'm gonna use this to get a little highlight kind of highlightish under my eyes and I'm also gonna mix it with the same LA girl pro conceal in the shade pure beige all right so to put in the concealer I use this little brush from real techniques and I just you know push it into the skin all right so as I was saying the my skin had actually become an insecurity of mine but when this happened I I just didn't know how to feel pretty if you get what I'm saying so I didn't go anywhere when I actually did go somewhere I was so happy maybe just glad say mask wear because most of the acne would come right here so i was just happy that i could wear my mask and you know more, the mask would hide most of it or i'd wear a wig or would that drop right down in my face <laughs> right in my face side she so you know it wouldn't it wouldn't show much of the imperfections on my face i just feel like everyone will go i just feel like i that people are look on i go up on the road if I go up on the road and somebody look on me, I just feel like I'm a face them I look on, like my scars and whatever. And I say, no, sir. But too bad. Girl, too nice. Girl, too nice. <laughs> Fear make few spots um, in the she from shine. So that's what happened. And I just decided that I got to just accept my reality. All right, guys. So I actually got up to go to the bathroom that's basically what had happened and that's why i wasn't posting because of what had started happening to me or to my skin all right so i'm actually gonna go in with the ear spawn loose setting powder and let see everywhere that i put the concealer i'm gonna put this powder I don't use a lot because it has a tendency to make me look ashy sometimes and we don't want that so I just put it on and push it into my skin same time 
but now we yet anyways so let me get back into it so also there was another thing it's not really an insecurity but it's something that i wanted to talk about some people i'm gonna start talk the truth some people as them see her you put on weight here you put on so much weight sis you don't know what happened in my life like why is that a greeting warm to good morning and good afternoon warm to eye you all right you have persons where you don't know what they're going through you really don't and you can't know what can't always know what a person is going through so if you not have nothing to say if you see the person and you don't know what to say to the person shut up your mouth close your mouth you'll go to the somebody and say oh you put on weight me that's not a greeting it's really not a greeting i like to use back my foundation brush to um blend out to ensure that i don't have any harsh lines before i go in with the contour powder that i use for rounding up my face mm -hmm. yeah so you yes, see people you know say morning evening or afternoon you're all right want me yeah, that hurt you you feel good nothing oh you put on so much weight may i eat something for you miss i don't think so <laughs> so i just hate it people who try to find fault with other persons instead of complimenting them the first thing is when you see somebody the first thing you're gonna say is you put on waiting you're biggie whatever them have on one nice dress you never see the dress hmm? you never see the dress so anybody out there who's struggling with any form of insecurity you i'm just letting you know that don't pay those persons any mind because usually they are actually projecting their own insecurity on you so them something about them and them see you and them can't make them no one you for be great basically so don't do not pay those persons any mind if anything we are supposed to feel sorry for them and if you're someone that does everything that i'm saying please stop all right so now i'm using the black radiance true complexion contour palette in palette in the shade medium to dark and i use this middle shade this one so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it to bronze out my face and then i go back in with the setting powder and i just go that I don't know what they but we do that. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm just do that. Yeah, so I'm not the best at doing my makeup and talking, obviously. But yeah, I know you guys get the gist of what it is that I'm saying. I also wanted to touch on friendships and normalizing, walking away from friendships and relationships, whether it be with friends, family co-workers whatever i wanted to touch on normalizing walking away because my thing is and what i've learned is that if it's not feeding you what's the point sis if the person just continuously brings you down or puts you in a funk puts you in a bad mood all the time when they're around and all of that then sis why are they around why are they around like sir why are you here ma'am why are you here please go all right so the thing is i'm not really an eyeshadow person um i don't know how to do eyeshadow actually so i'm not gonna take up nothing for my head i'm gonna know about i was not sure about because you know we don't want to walk up and down and look like mask <laughs> we don't want to look like no mask so i'm just use i just use this my contour palette i took up the darkest shade out of it and i put it at top of my lids you know just give you just give the eyebrows what do you mean eyelids a little dimension nothing serious because me can't do nothing serious all right so next i get my fluffy brush from real techniques it's a blush brush i don't have any blush so i'm going to tell you what i use and if you learn for interchange on a product you know interchange on a product so i'm gonna go ahead and use my eyeshadow palette i pick up this and this shade and i use it as a blush 
Or as it's totally cool, pink in a mas in a mojaka. Made the worst. So yeah, just like that. Nothing serious. As I keep saying, I'm no guru, so I do what I like. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same rose water to spray my face to set it. The last thing I actually want to touch on is that topic of self love and self care and how important that is that is of utmost importance and i really 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 want to touch on that okay, so i'm gonna be using these lashes by huda beauty um they look like this it is that you have insecurities in order to get over those insecurities and all of that you first have to start loving on yourself you have to start um, making yourself know that you are that bitch, you're that girl, you are the girl, like, but in a more than you, yeah. Taking time out to um, spend money on yourself, spend time on yourself, go to the salon, get your hair done, get your nails done, all of them something to contribute to uh, you as a whole, you know you being a whole person and remember that you can't pour from an empty cup so therefore you have to ensure that you're okay at all times if you have kids take a day from the kids go and get something done for yourself you know do things for yourself don't just live um so that everybody else can be okay and get into routines i find that routines really work in a in the sense where you don't feel overwhelmed i was saying as i was saying before and all of that so that's really important yes i went ahead and i put my lashes on off camera and uh, you know allowed the setting spray to dry down a bit more and this is what i have now and i am gonna go ahead and do my lips i don't do much to my lips either i only line them and then i put on this these two this what this la colors i don't i don't really use this a lot but i just use a little bit you'll see what i do and this so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips honestly i didn't get to cover all the topics that i wanted to cover because now i'm realizing that me can do makeup and talk but I'm gonna post a video anyways. Something must be in there for somebody. Yes, I want you to love yourself. Practice loving yourself. Practice letting people go, normalize letting people go. If they're not feeding you, let them go. If you see that they're draining your energy, let them go so that's why i haven't been posting i'm back now bigger and better than ever <laughs> ready yeah bigger better than ever basically um i'll be pushing out videos for you guys so comment down below if you have any videos in particular that you'd like to see <laughs> On the countryside, sitting on the grass, side by side. You can be my baby, and I'm making my lady. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm not the best at, you know, doing my makeup and talking just yet, but I'll get there. It's my first video like this and I mean, it's giving what it can give for now. So, you know, stay tuned for more videos like this. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this.
I'll be vlogging the entire trip so you guys will definitely see how that goes so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that as soon as I post these videos you will be the first to know um, I have a vlog on my nails this it will probably come after this video because I really wanted to let you guys know what was going on before I just started to post so yeah um that's it for the video guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll see you guys in my next upload Mwah. bye